As the police vetting entered the third day, Kiganjo Police Training Commandant Peter Kilonzo Kavila took to the stand to state why he deserved to keep his job. Kavila was put on spot over integrity issues. He was accused of soliciting for money from the Kiganjo recruits for their medical expenses, and yet the government provides funds for the service. According to the recruits who complained to the commission, the money cannot be accounted for. Students get sick, they are admitted in the hospital. You tell uh, other people to contribute, obviously they don't contribute, and if they contribute, it's something which is very minimal, it cannot cater for the expenses in the hospital. So uh, that fund has played a very important role, I can say so. And Kabila is also accused of favorism and tribalism by influencing promotions or transfers in favor of officers from his community. It is alleged that you favor uh, members of your community in matters of promotions, the names are submitted to police headquarters where they go through a scrutiny and later headquarters convenes another body three to select names of people they think they are fit. He found himself at a tight spot when he was unable to explain the source of huge sums of money he had been depositing in his bank account and why he had not declared all his wealth to the commission. Next on the vetting line was the administration police training college commandant Abdi Shurie. Dressed in his ceremonial attire, he was asked to explain some of the medals on his chest. It's it. Mm. Right. Thank you very much. Members of the public who wrote to the commission accused the outspoken Shurie of mega corruption, where he's accused of asking for money from officers seeking promotions or transfers. Because when we have gone through your statement, we have realized that they are very, very limited debits, unless maybe you're having another account. As a father, I have to take care of them when their children only are young. After completing the school, they are to come and reinforce their father. And that is my policy. <laughs> Even currently, when we are talking for about two years, I am not eating or using my salary. They are the ones taking care of me, and I am proud of them. Shurie, who just received his master's in business administration, was at some point not able to explain what he defended in his thesis. He said that um, you are arrogant and have no regard to graduate trainees and doesn't you you do not respond to their complaints. Example, the graduate recruits of 2011 to 2012. In the side of arrogance, you know some circumstances. When you are training a civilian to be a police officer, there is some circumstances which force you to push the person in order to complete the assignment. And perhaps they are fearing that assignment. There is another assignment you are to push somebody to complete. The session was later done in camera due to matters of national security. Shurie only has one year before he retires from the service. Later, Jonathan Koske, director of police reform, took to the vetting stand, and he too found himself in trouble over alleged high-handedness and favorism. It is alleged that you sacked two assistant commissioners of police who had been seconded to work in Western. The commission in his own wisdom he discovered that uh, he had been cheated by that officer. And uh, he wanted an explanation on the tracks which had blocked uh, Malaba Road. The officer was given an opportunity to explain. I forwarded this explanation to the commissioner. The commissioner again on his own decided to address him with a showcase letter. According to the commission, his bank statements did not tally with his salary, income, and was taken to task to explain his source of extra income. We receive from you the bank statement. Some of the monies I get into income once I clear the loans. So right now I'm servicing the loan, particularly the overdraft. And even as the Kavuludi-led commission endeavors to change the police service, one of the biggest headaches of the commission is succession planning, where the current very dedicated officers are set to retire within a year or two. These are the last seven senior deputy commissioners of police to be vetted, and their fate will be known before the end of the year.
The next phase will be done next year when 27 assistant commissioners of police will be vetted. And by the time Kavuludi-led commission ends the process, over 80,000 officers will have been vetted. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.